Hey name tags and welcome back. This is Ash from Playing My PC. I'm sorry I've been away for about almost two months with no uploads, but I've been working on some audio equipment and some other kind of PC equipment like the one behind me. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you how to create a system image on Windows 10. And it's a bit different to Windows 7. And uh, what you can need are two things essentially. Now the first one is more of a precautional thing, but I advise you to do this. And that is a Windows 10 uh, USB installation disk and you can use the Windows Media Creation Tool, which I'm going to link down below and uh, show you how to do this next time. Now, most people would use an external hard drive like this one to uh, store their system image. But for today, I'm going to show you something slightly different. An external hard drive like this one is perfectly fine to do a system image backup. But for today, I'm going to show you inside my PC case. And uh, what I've got here is five disks. First top one is going to be a Linux operating system middle one is my windows 10 third one was my windows 7 which is still is so what i actually did was i cloned the windows 7 onto a different ssd and i use the cloned ssd to upgrade to the windows 10 and that's a video for future fourth disk is my main storage for my personal documents and the last one is going to be my backup disk drive i will be creating the system image onto this one for today and after this, I will also put the system image on this external hard drive, which most people do anyway. So onto your screen, click on start menu, go to settings at the bottom, click on update and security, go to backup, more options, click on that, go to see advanced settings. And uh, you're going to have this pop up and at the bottom here, bottom left, system image backup, click on that. And there we have it top left there is create a system image that's the one you want to do and while you click on it it's going to look for drives where it can store your image and as i mentioned and showed you guys that i have an internal hard drive which is already my image and i actually labeled it as i for image however i've also plugged in my external hard drive and it's also available as an option to store the image here so you could do either one but for today i'm going to choose my image and please note that if it hasn't got enough space, it's going to delete your previous backups to store this one. I'm quite happy to do this. So make sure you're checking which drive it's saving to because you could be overriding another disk. And for that, you could either go to your could either go to your Windows Explorer or you could also go to your disk management down here. Anyway, I'm sure you know what you're doing. There you go. Right. So let's go back to creating our system image which is somewhere here where is it gone right so click on next I'm happy with that and also now on this stage you need to be careful now I know which system I need to save usually it will pick your system reserved and your C which is your main operating system and I've also got here Windows recovery environment system I'm okay with that because this is to do with Windows 10 so I'm going to select this make sure the rest is unselected and again if you're not very sure what I would advise you to do is before you do the system image to disconnect any other drives that you don't want to back up that would avoid any confusion right so I'm happy with that so I'm going to click on next and uh, it's telling me that it's going to take up about 63 gigabyte of space and uh, one last check so system reserve c system and windows recovery environment this is to do with rolling back to windows 7. so start backup and it's now starting to save the backup and this will be much faster to do than an external hard drive because it's internal and the transfer speed is much faster unless you've got a ssd as an external hard drive so see you back in a few minutes so the system image has completed successfully Usually now you will have a pop-up which says, do you want to create a system repair disk? Here you should just select no, otherwise it would ask you to insert quite a few DVD drives, which is inconvenient and it's much better to use the USB installation disk that you created earlier. Backup completed successfully, so you can press close. If I can show you on my Windows Explorer and uh, the image here, Windows Backup, and I've got quite actually a few other systems backed up. The one that we did today was 
this one, the Great Escape. So there you have it. Remember that it's always best to back up your system at least in two places, which I'm going to do. And the process is exactly the same, whether you use an external hard drive or internal hard drive. So if you guys want to see how to create a Windows 10 installation disk and how to also recover your system image from any disk, then hit me the like button. Let me know down below. And until next time, peace out.